Hey guys, it's me Neon Jacket. I'm bringing you a guide on the forest. It's just a small little, a small little guide. Um, I just crashed. I just started a new game. I'm going to show you guys how to get the katana, cause it's very helpful. Um, and there aren't many videos out there that really actually shows you where to go without like cutting, and it. it it took me a while to even find one that I could really put sense to and, you know, understand where to go. So, first what we're going to do is we are going to find out where the hell we landed. Um, seems to be we're over by the bigger cannibal camp. The only time I can really see where I'm going and know where I am is if I find water. That's just kind of how I determine where I'm at and where I need to go. So we're just gonna real quick run around to try and find some type of water. Um because once we get to the point where I can see water yeah I'll be able to find it. Okay. Um let's see. Okay. Yep. We're gonna go this way. The I don't have the map obviously since I just started. But, what I do suggest you do is, if you find the big snowy mountain, which is, it's hard to see, but it's just right over there. If you go to the snowy mountain, um, it's in that general area. It's, if you're going from the south of the map, then you just want to go straight north, and there, you'll eventually find a big, like, body of water. It'll be basically like a lake. And you want to go from there. I will show you up here. So this is the lake I was talking to you guys about. See, it's just this. It's also where the cockpit is. Um, the cockpit's just over that way in the middle of the lake on this little tiny part of the island. Um, and the katana would be over here on one of the parts of the... It's like a whole flat area. It's really nice. It's a good place to build, in my opinion. Because, I mean, it's basically right in the middle of everything. Um, let's see. The mountain is right there. That's the mountain. And you sh most times you'll be coming from this way or over that way. Uh, there's the hole that we're going to go down. And then the cockpit is right there. You can barely see it, but it's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sticks, some cloth, and I'm going to equip that. And we're just going to go straight down this hole. Now there are three other entrances, but this one gets you there the quickest. And with, you know, basically no pain of having to fight cannibals or anything. So we're just going to descend down this rope, and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. It's a pretty long rope. Um... But once you get down there, I do not suggest lighting a stick or whatever you have. But there is a whole bunch of cloth and skulls, and then you have these. I tend to call them mementos, even though they're not really mementos. they just memory type stuff. You know, it's just cool things to find, I guess. Now, the other rope you came down is right there. And there's going to be another rope. You're just going to go up here. And once you get up here... The old, it'll be a fork. There will be, you can go left or right. You do not ever want to go right because there's an armsy and two cannibals. So we're just going to go left. And there's just going to be these lights. There's going to be a whole bunch of path. There's just going to be wooden planks that lead you over to the katana. And also another little thing over here that's very helpful, at least in my opinion, is uh, the flashlight. So, they're both over here, and I'll show you how to get both. Now, once you see this skull, you're there. Over here, you'll see a whole bunch of money, all this wonderful stuff. You'll check off uh, the dude with the katana's name. Just all this stuff. There's watches, medicine, cloth, more watches. And it's a fire, camp, or a fire pit. Light that up. Just better lighting. And right here, this little dude right here, 
There's a katana sticking out of his shoulder, and then he has his tattoo, like, stretched out up above him, and the katana's just sticking out of the shoulder where his tattoo was. And then there's also two gas cans over here, just in case you have the chainsaw, or if you're going to get it. I definitely suggest you pick that up. So, okay. Now, and you can also break these computers, because they do give you circuit boards to make bombs. Now, once you have the katana and you want the flashlight, you just put your butt up against him and look that way, and you're just going to walk over here. And it will be over here behind this. Just break this, and then boom, flashlight, and then some more alcohol. And to get back, you just follow the same way, but I'm going to show you just in case you do get lost. Um, so you're just going to crawl through the hole you went into. You're going to walk all the way back. And the arms you will be making very, like, annoying and scary noises. Don't worry about it. Those are just, see that right there. Those are just normal armsy noises. Um, if we do get unlucky enough to aggro him, I will tell you his annoyed noise, but... They're just over there, and the hole is right here. No, it's right up here. But yep, there's the cannibals, and the RMZ is down there too. And that right there, that hiss, that was his annoyed noise. So we're going to be quick and get out of here, because I do not like the mutants. And here's the hole you came out of. So just go right back up this. And as soon as you hit the surface, that is you, and you have a katana in your arsenal, as well as a flashlight. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a very simple video, very straightforward guide. Um, I hope it helps you guys out. I hope you guys have fun with the katana, murdering all the cannibals. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, shine bright, neon bright. Bye!